Welcome to the channel. In this tutorial, we will see how we can write a C program to check whether the number is even or odd number. In this case, we will not be using the if else conditional statement. Instead of that, we will be using the switch statement. Whenever we have a integer number, in order to say whether this number is even or odd, what we do is we take this number and we divide it by two and we check the reminder value. If we get the reminder as zero, then we say that this number is even number. If we get the reminder as one or any non-zero value, then we say the number is odd number. But the thing here is whenever we divide any integer number by two, the reminder value that we get, it will be either zero or one. For example, let us say we're going to take the number 121. So when we divide it by two, it will be 60, 120 and the reminder is one. Similarly, if you take, let us say 240 and when we divide it by two, it will be 120 and 240 and the reminder is zero. So if it is an integer number, when we divide that number by two, the reminder value that we get will be either zero or one. So we will be using this logic and we will write the program. So here, what I have done is I have included stdio.h header file to the program and also I have written the main function. So the first thing that we do is we will declare the variables that we need. And uh, in this case, we will ask the user to enter the number. So to store that number, we need a variable. I'm going to take integer type of variable and I'm going to call it as number. After that, we can use the printf function and we can ask the user to enter the number and then we can use the scanf function and we can read the number entered by the user. After reading that, we will store in the number variable. Now we have the number. We just have to say whether it is even or odd. So what we have to do is we have to divide the number entered by the user by two and we have to get the reminder value. As I have explained before, when we divide an integer number by two, the reminder value that we get will be either zero or one. So in this case, we will use the switch statement. And in this switch conditional part, what we do is we divide the number by two and we will get the reminder value. So in order to get the reminder value, when we divide a number by another number, we will use the modulus operator, which is denoted by this percentage symbol. So here what we want to do, we want to divide the value present in this number variable by two and we want the reminder value. So we will write number modulus operator two. And in C programming language, we have a condition that the switch expression that we write, it should result in an integer value. So in this case, we will get an integer value. So here we need to write the cases. So two possible cases are the reminder value will be zero or one. So we will write the cases for them. So case zero. So if we get the uh, value zero here as the reminder value, then it means that the number entered by the user is an even number. We can display that to the screen by using the printf function. So it will be percentage D is an even number. And here we will refer the number variables value. And after that, we will use the break statement and we will, uh, you know, terminate the particular case. Okay. After that, the another case value that we write will be case one, the possible value. So in this case, if you get the reminder value as one, it means that the number is odd and we can display that to the screen. So I'm going to copy and paste the code. And here I'm going to say, is a odd number. Okay. So these are the two possible uh, case values that we have in this program. So whenever we divide an integer number by two, the reminder value will be either zero or one. So that's it. You know, we have written the program. Let's run this. Enter the integer value. I'm going to say three, six, five. It says it is an odd number. 
close that we will run it one more time and this time we will enter um, 842 it says it is an even number now uh, what we are doing here is we are just getting the reminder value but if you want you can compare the reminder value that we get which is nothing but we will check whether the reminder value that we get when we divide the value present in the number variable by 2 whether that is equal to 0 or not here this double equal to is the comparison operator so we are checking whether the reminder value is 0 or not if it is 0 then this comparison operation will return 1 which indicates true if the reminder is not 0 if we get the reminder 1 here then this comparison operator here will return 0 which indicates false so depending on that here the case values uh, will have the different effect because if the reminder value is 0 and since we are comparing that here using the comparison operator it will return 1 indicating that yes the reminder is 0 in that case we have to say number is even number so we have to change the case value here if we use this method the case 1 will be for the even number and if we get 0 here because of this comparison which means that reminder is not 0 it is 1 then this comparison operation will return 0 indicating false so here we need to have 0 for the uh, odd numbers okay if it is confusing just understand the logic you know you will get it i'm gonna save the program i'm gonna run it i'm gonna say 456 it says it is an even number run it one more time i'm gonna say 241 it is an odd number so this is how you can write a simple c program to check whether the number entered by the user is even or odd by using the switch statement if you like this video hit the like button if you don't like it hit the dislike button if you want to say something then write that in the comment box for more tutorials like this do subscribe to the channel thank you for watching i'll see you later in the next video